What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Team Runner here, and welcome back to another video. And today we're talking all about the next shoes that we have in for testing. So 12 beautiful warm miles this morning out there in the forest, not in these new shoes we'll talk about very, very shortly. Super excited to share that with you. Just want to say start the day in a brilliant way. Lots of deer, lots of It was absolutely glorious out there. And it got me thinking I wanted to sit down and make this video. How was I going to make it and future videos around this shoe? Because this is an exciting one. And I thought what I'll do is I'll get it out there as to what the shoe is and then we'll talk about how we're going to be testing it with another YouTuber. So this is super, super exciting. I cannot wait to dive into it and show you what is inside this box. If you're excited for today's video, guys, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and let's dive in. So just before we dive in, I've got to state that these shoes have not been purchased with my own money. They have been sent to me for the purpose of review by another YouTuber. We're gonna talk all about that right now. Out of the kindness of their heart, they have decided to buy me a pair of running shoes so we can do a kind of a collaboration video and work together on testing these shoes, which absolutely blows my mind. Just like with Nick, uh, who bought me the Liberate Nitros to test, which are absolutely incredible, and the Odyssey Reacts, which are great, I just think to myself, these people go out there and spend their own money and decide to send me shoes. It just, honestly, it is just an incredible act of kindness. And I really, really, really do appreciate it. And that YouTuber is, in fact, Tim Gross. If you do not know Tim, he does the most thorough shoe reviews on YouTube, in my opinion. The analytics, the stats he goes into with his shoe off videos is absolutely insane. If you want to know the ins and outs of a shoe, especially the super shoes, he does some incredible testing. I really value Tim's videos because he does genuine testing, genuine data. He's such a great runner himself um, and for me just an all-round great guy and for him to send me these is absolutely phenomenal. So before we dive in and go any further, his channel link is in the description. I would love for you guys to go and support him, subscribe to his channel, watch some of his videos, get involved with his channel because you know he's supporting me in this way. If I can do anything back to him, it's to just kind of say to you guys, please, if you can support him as well, go and support him, subscribe, show him some love and say a massive thank you for sending these up to me. So the big shoe reveal for this is, drum roll please, not that I'm gonna put any sound effects over this, give you a quick clue. We have a track and field bag. You better believe it, we've got a pair of spikes, which is absolutely mad, and we're gonna be getting ourselves to a track very soon. I'm gonna tell you how we're gonna be testing them. We have got a pair of the dragonflies. Yes, these were released last week or the week before, I can't remember now, uh, and once again, just like that, they were gone in seconds, and Tim managed to grab a pair. We were actually talking about them. There was a couple of track races I was looking to drop into. We'll talk about that shortly. Um, he decided to pick me up a pair as well, and we're gonna, well, I'm excited to say we're gonna be doing a collaborative shoe review video on these. So how are we both gonna be testing this shoe? It is so lush. Well, first of all, let me say, I've never ever worn a spike before, so this is brand new territory for me, but I'm now super, super excited, which is why I was kind of toying with the idea of getting it, because with this summer and with training, I thought about just vamping things up a little bit, just changing direction and doing some things new, and I thought there was a couple of track races that were gonna pop up. There is one that I have my eye on. It is September, sadly, so it's 
in terms of racing. I might not end up racing it until September, but I've got to be honest with you, I'm excited to test these out on a track. So what we're gonna be doing, hopefully, is a collaborative shoe off video between, probably, we haven't, we haven't ironed out the details yet, but a shoe that we both have, I won't give any more details other than the shoe that we both have, uh, and then this thing, and we're gonna be doing a track workout and probably try and do the same workout together but at different locations because obviously Tim is on the other side of the country to me and we'll co combine our results and obviously I'll give Tim all of my stats he can uh, kind of compare the two and we'll go into some detail and we'll talk about in terms of track workouts and things like that shoes and how it compares to maybe let's say a non-spike shoe and just do a really fun collaborative video as I said I will approach it probably from a different angle Tim will approach it from another one just to make it exciting and provide hopefully a bit of double content for you guys. So yes, we're yet to iron out the workout, we're yet to iron out the other shoe. All I can say is it is in the pipeline. Now I believe Tim has a race this week or next week, so it's not gonna be for a couple of weeks yet. I've obviously got to get myself to a track. Our local track here is not open for us to just go and use, plus it's a cinder track, it would be quite good. I mean, if I have to use it, I will, but if I can get to somewhere like Hereford, or Gloucester, which is about half an hour away, 45 minutes away for Hereford, to use a synthetic track, then I will, because it will just mean that I can test these a little bit better. So that's how we're gonna be testing it. Uh, yeah, super, super excited. So there we go, shoe reveal complete. I am beyond excited. This actually got me really, really excited. And I am actually still looking at other track races to see if I can get one in before September to really give it a good test. I'd love to test it out in a racing environment. There are some shorter track races around, we're talking 1500 meters and below, but I'm looking for sort of track 5Ks and 10Ks. There's one in Gloucester 10K on Friday, September the 9th. I am looking in and around. There's one in Cheltenham this Wednesday that sadly I missed the deadline for for entry. I was able to do it and I missed the deadline. So I'm looking at other ones to try and do within sort of an hour radius of home, just being a little bit careful with the COVID situation. Don't want to travel too far, but I am excited to test these out and I'm excited to compare the results with Tim and see how these things pan out. I'd love to hear from you guys if you've managed to pick up a pair of dragonflies. They've just gone in seconds. Obviously, there were some other ones. There was a Max Fly and there were other spikes. I'd love to know if you've got any of them. And any tips on racing in spikes or training? So just let me know because I'm a complete newbie to this world. But there we go. I want to say a massive thank you once again to Tim for sending these to me. Please do and go, uh, do go and show him some love on his channel. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the collaborative video. I cannot wait. That is it from me today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Until then.